Hello and welcome to yet another South Korean college scholastic ability test video. Without further ado, let's take a look at today's problem. In three-dimensional coordinate space, xy plane, yz plane, and zx plane divide the space into eight regions. You know, as illustrated in this figure. How many of these eight regions does the sphere x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared plus z minus 4 squared equals 24 pass through? And as indicated in the thumbnail, I will show you two somewhat similar, somewhat different approaches to handle this problem. But before we do anything, first we need to name some stuff and understand the basic setting of the problem. As mentioned in the problem, we are dealing with these eight regions in a coordinate space. And just like we call four regions in a two-dimensional space quadrants, these eight regions are often called octants. And just for the sake of explaining stuffs, let us name these octants 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Next, let us take a look at the given equation of the sphere. This is the sphere whose center is minus 2, 3, 4, and the radius is square root of 24. Now with these established, let us actually dive into the first method of solving this problem. The first method is what I would like to call distance method. So we have this point minus 2, 3, 4, which is the center of the sphere. Then we move in directions parallel to x, y, and z axis by distance of square root of 24, the radius, because that's how far the sphere can go in each direction. Notice that square root of 24 is greater than 2, 3, and 4. That is, it is bigger than the magnitude of any of these coordinates. Therefore, if we take a look at x direction first, this red arrow definitely passes through the yz plane, meaning that the sphere exists on the other side of the yz plane as well. In terms of octants, we can say that the sphere passes through octants 1 and 2. In negative y direction, we also know that moving a distance of square root of 24 results in passing through zx plane, so we know that the sphere passes through octants 2 and 3. And in negative z direction, moving a distance of square root of 24 results in passing through xy plane, so we know that the sphere passes through octants 2 and 6. So far, we have found that the sphere passes through these four octants, 1, 2, 3, and 6. But what about these remaining four octants? How can we determine whether the sphere passes through these octants? Well, in order to do that, we have to take these distances into account. These are the distances to x-axis, y-axis, z-axis, and the origin. If the distance is shorter than the radius of square root of 24, then we can say that the sphere passes through the octant on the other side of these axes or the origin. And if we actually calculate the distances, the distance to the x-axis is square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is 5, which is greater than square root of 24. So the sphere does not pass through the octant 7. The distance to the y-axis is square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared, which is square root of 20, which is less than square root of 24, so the sphere passes through the octant 5. The distance to the z-axis is square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared, which is square root of 13, which is less than square root of 24, so the sphere passes through octant 4. Finally, the distance to the origin is square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is square root of 29, which is greater than square root of 24, which is obvious because this distance was already greater than square root of 24, so the sphere does not pass through the octant 8. Therefore, we know that the sphere also passes through octants 4 and 5. In the end, the given sphere passes through these six octants, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Hence, the correct choice is choice 3. The second method is what I would like to call section method, 
although this method still requires some distance calculations as well. The gist of this method is to find the intersection between a sphere and a plane, which is a circle. For example, what is the intersection between the sphere and xy plane? Well, xy plane means that the z coordinate is 0. I mean, this is actually the equation of the plane. So if we substitute this into the equation of the sphere, we have x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared plus 0 minus 4 squared equals 24. So we have x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 8. This means that the intersection is a circle on the xy plane with center minus 2,3 and radius square root of 8. Notice that square root of 8 is greater than 2, so the circle protrudes into this section of the xy plane, but square root of 8 is less than 3, so the circle does not protrude into this section of the xy plane. What does this section tell about the sphere? Well, the circle existing in this part means that the sphere exists in this side of the plane and also on this side of the plane. Moreover, since we have circle in this part as well, we know that the sphere also exists in this side of the plane and this side of the plane. In terms of octants, this means that the sphere passes through these four octants, 1, 2, 5, and 6. What about the intersection with yz plane? Here, we have to substitute x equals 0 into the equation of the sphere. This gives y minus 3 squared plus z minus 4 squared equals 20. This is the circle on yz plane with center 3,4 and radius square root of 20. Square root of 20 is greater than both 3 and 4, so the circle extends to this negative y region and this negative z region, but it is less than this diagonal length of 5, so it never extends to the region where y and z are both negative. So in this case, from this part, we know that the sphere exists in this region and in this region. And from this part, we know that the sphere exists in this region and this region. And from this part, we know that the sphere exists in this region and this region. Therefore, with this intersection, we know that the sphere passes through octants 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Finally, about the intersection with zx plane, we substitute y equals 0, then we have x plus 2 squared plus z minus 4 squared equals 15. So the circle is on zx plane with center minus 2,4 and radius 15, which is greater than this length 2, but less than this length 4. So we know that from this part, the sphere exists in here and here, and from this part, the sphere exists in here and here. In other words, the sphere passes through octants 1, 2, 3, and 4. So combining all of these cases, we know that the sphere passes through octants 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, so the correct choice is choice 3. And that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons. And I will see you in another video.